rock and roll, boys. Hello, and welcome to an ANP Plays. I'm Matt Schultz, and I'm here with Danny Tortelli. Hello, all. Thanks for wearing a tie. Uh, yep, he showed up in a tie. I look like Pika. He looks great. <laughs> um, so, we're going to play some Wargroove. Um, obviously, I am our uh, the ANP Wargroove fanatic. Danny is the... I've never played Advanced Wars, I don't think, the in your life. Average Nintendo player. The very the average Nintendo So, I'm going to teach him how to play. Um, hopefully not wolf him too badly, but uh, here we go. So we're in multiplayer. Danny and I are gonna. I was trying to play three players, uh, two versus the computer, which you can do, but Danny would need to technically own the game to do that. So we're just gonna play locally. Um, now, so it's in for two players. We're gonna choose. I don't want to choose something too big for you right now, like like a map that's too large. No, that's, that's appreciated. So we're gonna do the narrows. All right. Oh. So weather is random. Turn time. Turn timer. So that's you know, like chess. We're not going to do that. So you can think about your moves. Mm. No fog of war. So the map's going to be completely visible. Nice. Income is a hundred. Uh, what is by over overall look of the map doesn't affect gameplay. Do you want it to be icy, desert, Ooh. grass? Ooh. Let's just do grass. I'm. Okay. It's winter here, and I need some summer in my life. Danny, so the thing about this game is you use a commander. Ah, yes. The commanders do different things. So this is Mercia, uh, the Cherry Stone Kingdom. There's like three commanders from each of the four kingdoms. Ooh. So, yes. uh, Children of the Forest on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are the Florins. This is actually, uh, Chucklefish makes another game called uh, Starbound. Or okay. Starbound? Yeah. Um, and these are characters from that game that they've installed, and they've like now like included them in the lore of Wargroove. This chucklefish crossover. I know it's kind of cool. So um, I'm going to choose uh, Ragna because I like her shield jump. So once your like special ability charges, I can slam anywhere on the map and like inflict damage to a group of people. So I'm going to choose her. I'm going to change my color to green because I like green. I, like Matt needs sun, I need a dog too. <laughs> <laughs> so you will be uh, Caesar. Yes. Let's be. He's a good doggo. Look at that. Okay. He's inspirational. So welcome to the map. All right. Um, so we're going to get started. So you scroll around. I like to use the D-pad because uh, I grew up playing this game on, uh, you know, on the Game Boy Advance, and then the DS. Playing this game? Uh, well, not this particular game, but Advance Wars, so... You got an advanced copy. I did. Like 15 would, years ago. That would be nice. I mean, so, truth be told, Advance Wars was like the first game I think I saved my money for. I didn't ask for it. I nice. didn't hope to get it. I didn't, like like borrow it from a friend. I saved my money for it. I went to Funko Land, which I've mentioned in the past. It's pretty, you know, since bought out by GameStop. Uh, but Funko Land had it. And it was like, I don't know, a couple blocks down the street. So I rode my bike. I went and picked it up. I was so happy. The box art was so cool. I'll show it right here. Um, and ever since that moment, I have fallen in love with this genre of turn-based strategy um, in cartoony form. All right, so we got two sides of the map. Uh, there's a couple of things going on here. We got a river um, separating uh, these two barracks. The barracks are where you build units. So the difference about, between Fire Emblem and this game is that you actually are producing more units to your advantage, where in Fire Emblem it's like, here's your party, hopefully they don't die. Um, in this game we're going to build more units. But you, you can see in the top left corner there, I've got 400 gold. It's turn one. You, <laughs> you make more money by... Um, basically um, capturing villages. So every turn, if you have a full uh, village at full health, it gives you 100 coins. So the more villages you have, the more coin, the more gold you get every turn, the more you can build. So it's strategic to make sure that you're acquiring as many as possible. So I'm gonna move my commander up. I'm gonna bring my soldiers this way because uh, I'm gonna try to capture that. Uh, I've got 400 gold right now, so I can build a number of units. Uh, you see right there, it's a soldier. Um, then you've got the next thing up, which is a spearman. Um, soldiers are pretty much good against... I mean, they're they are kind of fodder <laughs> in this yeah. game. 
They're really good against uh, the orcs. What it's saying down there, it's, so there's an update that's going to actually describe the effective and vulnerable uh, things much better because right now it's like these small little sprites and they realize like, oh, that's really hard to tell. But what that is, if you've been playing the game long enough, you can kind of tell what these are. That's a, um, that's a, like an archer, so uh, long range yes. unit. So if I brought these little infantry in up to one of those, it'd be pretty effective. But mostly these guys are fodder to anything else. But they're good for like, you know, just having things on the map. Um, and to save money, I'm and because they have a good um, range of movement, I'm gonna build one more. And as soon as you do your last thing, um, you've moved all your characters and you've built something, you, your turn ends automatically. Though you can end your turn earlier than that. So, so you get your your lay of the land here. So certain terrain is harder to get across than others. So roads, the birds are <laughs> yeah, they, they do have some nice uh, little sprites. It's a real lived-in world. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, you can even see like there's some things like there's sometimes you can see little shadows of fish in the li the river or the oh, okay. uh, this ocean. You can see the grass sometimes has like like wind blowing across it um, at different times. Some of the trees look that way too. Um, and this is a clear day. So the weather, you can see in the top right corner, it's going to get windy in a turn. Boy, so. oh, I love that. Like in Breath of the Wild where you can see like what's coming <laughs> right, out. Right, like, exactly. All right, drop all your metal shit, uh, uh, stuff. All right, so your commander is very strong. However, yes. if you make your commander too vulnerable uh, to enemy units fire, uh, and if your commander dies, you lose automatically. Oh boy. You lose the game if all your units perish, okay. your commander perishes, yeah, that, that. Right, okay. or or your headquarters, your HQ is uh, sacked. But we don't have an HQ in this game. This Fair. is just a free for all. So that's not. Fair. So basically, it's kind of like a we're gonna fight it out to see. To the death. Yeah. All right. So if I were you, I would start probably moving. You probably want to start heading in that direction to that village. You might want to go backwards to capture that um, empty unit. This one. Yeah. And one thing you might notice is you are starting out with more units. Um, I only had one unit, you got two units because you went second yes. to balance the, the game out a little bit. Okay. So click on one of your units. Um, okay. And then, uh, so, they have, so they can only go to the shaded area, but the extra, the extra highlighted area tells you uh, if a unit is in one of those, it means that you can attack them, right? Because you're adjacent to them. Sure. Um, so, yeah, go for it, move them there, press wait. Um, so they go there, they chill for the turn. Um, and that's kind of basic movement. So, no, so you can keep moving. So you have, you, it's faded now because it's, it's, it's you've used it once. Sure, you, can only you can't use move it. the same unit more than once. Right. So you see the a forest and the terrain kind of affect your movement. Yeah. It's, uh, if I, I would take, I would just try to march him through the forest there, uh, similar to kind of what I did. Maybe in the go up one, and then yeah, right there. Um, and then maybe take your commander and, and head north. Um, I like try that way. Uh, like act like straight across. You can get across the river, um, oh. but you, it, you have to like be right up next to it before you can. So, okay. so now. All your main units are done. However, the game didn't automatically move you because, uh, or move, end the turn because you still have a barracks that can produce things. You have 400 gold, so you can go to your barracks, highlight it, like highlight over it, and press A. Uh, it's that castle-looking thing. And then, uh, yeah, so you can. Um, pikemen are strong, and they're actually stronger if there's two of them right next to each other. Sure. When you're attacking. Um, think very uh, like Game of Thrones like one of the what's the episode when they're all they're all kind of moving in on the Battle of the Bastards oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, pikemen are better in numbers with each other however they have a shorter range but they're very effective against a lot of units sure um, they're basically better infantry so the alchemist is coming up with a dragon fire if we're continuing <laughs> Game of Thrones, uh. the, the alchemist actually so it's a magical unit um, it, it helps take out air units it's still effective against other units. Gotcha. It can you can spend money to heal people around you, um, so it's kind of a healer as well. 
Um, then Gollum gets the Pokemon crossover. <laughs> okay. All right. That's basically the tank of the game. Um, oh, the hard to take it. down. Yeah, that's the mountain. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like ruining this game for Matt. <laughs> no, it's that's that's a good point. I mean, I think a lot of people like myself really were excited about the game being medieval, just mm -hmm. like in terms of the genre, because a lot of people love Fire Emblem but love the game style of Advance Wars and. Um, it just kind of makes it like it's a fresh take on it. And, um, like I love s trebuchets and seeing the trebuchet launch and take out something from, I don't know, it's just cool. It's cool to see. Nice. So the wagon is a unit that's kind of a tank in that like it can take a lot of damage before it breaks. Okay. However, its whole point is to help you transport units faster to different things. So you sure. can plop a unit in it, drive somewhere up, like as far as possible, and then drop the unit off. Um, in this, particularly right now, you don't need to use that. Dogs, they have, uh, they can go really far, um, and they're, they're good against infantry, um, uh, and certain other types of units. Um, uh, let's see, critical when another dog unit is adjacent to the target. So... You know, this is, this is tempting. <laughs> I just... Build a, yeah, build a battle pup. I just want to have something called a battle pup. So you can pop them out any of those four. Uh, any any rhyme or reason here, or just? Um, it depends on where you want to go with it. I usually bring it closer to that direction. Um, I would go up low so you can get around that forest easier. Fair. All right. So it ends your turn automatically. Nice. All right. Here we go. Oh, I like. Oh, it wants me to. Okay. Hey, Louis, playing Smash Bros. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and capture this with my. <laughs> With Ragna. Ragna has quite the voice. She is just constantly, she's kind of like your annoying cousin or brother or sibling that wants to win at everything. Oh, did the update just launch? Oh my gosh. Why? What's that? Because things have changed. You can actually see now how much of, how much of it I have. The little, the bar there. Sure. So once it fills up, it means I'm earning, it's at 100%. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go here and then capture. You would. <laughs> so I think I actually turned off some of the animations. Um, oh, I need to go back here. And Let's see if I can actually go to overview. Um, options. Let's go to combat, combat animation. We're gonna show it. Oh, English UK version for yeah. sure. <laughs> well, this is a uh, uh, you know Chucklefish is from uh, the UK, so yeah, never London, so. the English American version. No, always UK version. All right, your turn again. Oh, look at that graceful, majestic pooch. Go ahead and hold a. Yeah. Sorry, right, I was just name of my dog. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna take that. There you go. It is now mine. All right, so here's an animation, right? So it's an empty village. So it's now under, you know, the pink kingdom of Tortelli. Yes. Um, led by the fearless doggo Caesar. Um, so um, go ahead and take, yeah, that soldier and attempt to, yeah, you get up right up next to it. And then... Don't take it. Uh, highlight over it. Press A. And then capture it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You absolutely want to take it right now. The the first steps of the game, I think, are really like starting to unravel your strategy, like moving units where you need to go, it's starting to take more territory, so you can build up your gold, so you can build better units, so okay. that you can field a more uh, tactile army. I feel like I'm going to look at a ranger, Aragorn. All right. Basically, yeah. Ranger on units to build move and attack and send turn hit when stationary. Interesting. So what that means is if, if you don't move them, mm -hmm. um, like if you put them in a spot and then you start the next turn and you don't move them and attack, they just are, st they're like, they haven't moved yet that turn and you just choose to keep them there in that same exact spot and attack someone in their range, it usually a lot gives them a critical hit. Okay. So maybe, would you say it's a smart move to wait and then on my next turn get the Bud Knight? <laughs> you should uh well you could um i i 
believe that you should always be fielding some sort of unit because at the end of the day, like, so even if it's like a cheap swordsman, at least you have another unit on the field, right? Alright, you know what, we'll go with, we'll get a, I think that's good. You don't have to build him yet, you can build him out before your turn's over. So if you press B, that way you can move your battle pup. Um, oh, wait, actually, I feel like I want to move this across, right? Yeah. And capture that. Okay. <laughs> He's playing in the river. Look, so, like you see dog. how it says negative two in the bottom and plus one? Yeah. So, negative two means how much defense that you're, like, for example, your soldier out there in the field, he's kind of in the open. Kind of um, You can see in the bottom right, when you're hovering over him, um, it says how much health he has, but it also says what, uh, how many shields out of four that terrain gives you. So it's plus one defense. Um, being out open in the river, you're basically li literally a sitting duck. So it's like negative one. Uh, so, or negative two? It's a sitting dog. Well, <laughs> sorry, man. He's a good boy. <laughs> um, okay. All right, then maybe move your other little battle pup. Um, maybe this one? So he can go to that other shaded spot, uh, hovered right in front. Uh, oh. Yeah. And you can wait there, if you want him to be there. So battle pups can't capture towns. Obviously, like, a bunch of dogs walking in. And I know Caesar is a commander, but the battle pups can't capture. You needed, like, a human sure. to capture. Um, I think this is probably the best bet for sure. the night. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, well. All right. We were, we're rolling. We were building things there on that turn. Alright, so I'm going to capture this. So if I hold B, it says skip in two. I can actually like skip it to go faster, so... Um, yeah, I mean, but you like kind of want to watch them like storm the place, like... Yeah, it's it's pretty... You want to see Theon take Winterfell again. I do. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Theon. I mean, I, uh, his character art is just the worst. In the in the story, at least that's my that's like it's just that's a like I don't even want to follow it because well, it's just so it's just so horrendous um, in terms of like well, obviously what the character goes through, but then like watching the first two seasons, you're like, okay, I get it. Like you feel like you're you know at a like a an abandoned puppy, right, right, you're you an know, adopted brother. Who are, like who? Where do you really belong? Which house is really truly yours? Your father doesn't really want you. Your sister, you know, is outranks you now. And then he just gets into some messed up pika, like it is just <laughs> some hardcore messed up pika. Uh, we'll we'll save the rest of that for our uh, another nerdy podcast. Uh, we dive into all things. So Scarecrow. here's the fun thing. So your turn, you can hold A. Yes. So the fun thing about this game is you can. Oh, it's storming now. Oh no. I'm not sure. I feel like that might affect our movements. Maybe not. Maybe certain units can't move as far. I wonder if I should get the dog out of the river. Ooh. Because of the, you got the forest, you got to contend with. So it's gonna kind of stop your movement. But I think my ultimate goal is to get you Caesar get, to this. Yeah, because now you can start producing more units up there. And, and his defense it, will go up a little bit, being yeah. back on land. Yeah. Let's do that. So, okay, look, yeah, he's back up to three. One of the things uh, I was saying was that you can create... Keep, you, know, you still got a lot of going on. Um, yeah, so you want to go capture that. Um, so every turn, all the ones you've already captured, they're going to go up a little bit in terms of their health. Um, so you start getting health, you start out with half, half the amount, you, the soldier that captured it is allotted to the health of the city, and then it grows one more. So if you have full health, aka 10, you got 100% or 10, mm -hmm. um, it divides it by half, and so it starts out at 5. Um, I think it might round up, so, so then it goes up 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and once it's fully, uh, once it's fully healed as a, as a town, then you start to acquire the as much gold, all 100 gold from each of those towns every turn. Um, Can I upgrade these things at all? The towns? Yes. No. The, okay. once, basically, that's a full health town. You can see in the bottom right, 100%. So it's sure. producing... What you can do, though, is if your unit is damaged, you can go up to it and take some of the health away from the town to heal, your, um, to heal you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so it's strategic, but it also makes your town a little bit more vulnerable to getting sacked by me. Right. 
Um, I feel like, should this guy stay this far away? Going back to... You you definitely want to start marching him forward now, but... Like back to the Game of Thrones reference and stuff. What I was saying was, is that there's... Um, you know, this... this there's a great uh, map generator and even a um, campaign generator in this game. Okay. So that you can find online, download, and including like everything from dialogue to the type, of, like what what the map looks like. So there have been plenty of people who've been re recreating like Game of Thrones stuff. You know, like I um, mean, as you can see, you've got. My units oh, are all man. skeletons. Yeah, yeah. So there's been like the, a winter with a wall and like some undead. of it's broken and like the undead are walking through and you're, you know, you can like, you can program what your what the units will do and where they'll go and like what the antagonist will say at a certain point in the game. Like, will units pop out of the ground at a certain That's point? So funny. So a lot of fans are having a lot of good time with like creating their own stuff for this. All right, what are you gonna what are you gonna build here? Oh man. Um... Well, I would get the wagon, but I'm afraid it wouldn't survive the river or contract, you know, like uh, small foxes. Like, yeah, it's definitely you know, it's, not going through the river. That thing uh, just can't can't pass through the river. Look at that little horse. Can't survive the river. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, you want to build? I feel like a knight. Okay, build. Yeah, build a knight. What were you gonna say? No, no. I, I think that's a good that's a good call. They can travel fast. They're powerful. They're vulnerable to pikes. Okay. Um, I don't have any pikes on the field right now, so. Um, I can't take this. You can't take it, but you can strategically place your pup somewhere that might block me. Like, like my goal is going to try to sack that town in the middle. As you can see, this map was strategically made so that there was these two towns in the middle that are probably going to go back and forth with who is going to control them. So. So you can I see what you can do? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so that's really helpful. That's the closest you can get with this guy. In the shaded turn. area is a shaded area. The, the emptied out boxes are. If you're in that box, I can attack you from the shaded so area. So I feel like I would want him here. I'll be able to attack you if you're there. And him. So he's our. He's here. done. Well, right on the next yeah. turn. Oh, okay. I'm already trying to think. I've caught on so quickly that I'm already trying to think two steps. <laughs> um, so you're a pro want, at this already. Maybe I'd want him here, and then my next turn move this guy over here. Right. All right, pop. Yeah. Be a good guard dog. Sit, stay. That's All right. A cool boy. All right. Here we go. So you can see my town's now at 70%. This one's do still do at. Do do. I don't know what that one's at. It's weird. It's not showing. Okay, I'm gonna start. <laughs> they should all be marching north, not south. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, west in terms of the map we're looking at here. <laughs> oh my god. There is. <laughs> How many times can we do it? Can we make a Game of Thrones reference? This is mine now! Alright, so she goes in. She takes it. So here's the thing, though. If I wanted to take over one of your buildings, your buildings will actually defend themselves. Okay. So, like, I'll try to attack it with a unit, but it'll rain down arrows on my unit, and I'll take damage, but it's basically, like, you know, you're sieging. It's, it's a, Helm's Deep. You know, you got your... Oh, my God. Got your, <laughs> I can! Yeah, yeah, you got plenty of archers. You, you did pretty well against the orcs. Um, Let's see... I think I need to build a knight to counter yours. Okay. If you ever need to know what you still haven't done yet, you can click R and it'll highlight like a unit on the map that's still available to make its move. Alright, I'm gonna march into the forest and attack your battle pups. Take them out, ghost. So I'll press attack. Before I do, it tells me, it shows me, oh, you're gonna do 45% damage, but the dogs are gonna do some more damage, you know. Uh, 31 vice versa, vice versa, right? You're gonna win this. I'm not, I'm gonna necessarily, I'll, I'll do the most damage, but our units will st still both be alive. Okay. So, see. you can see though, cause, cause I, one, if you attack versus being attacked, you have a natural advantage. However, the two is, the forest gives me plus three defense. Mm -hmm. So I had that as a tactical advantage too. Um, as opposed to if I was to attack you in the open field. So is there anything, should I reinforce my pups? Or I would I... I would start, I would say march, yeah, bring him as close as possible. 
Um, get him, yeah, get actually, him. Actually, can I take this? Um, so, your knights actually can't capture. Okay. They can break down the doors, yeah. but only your infantry can can capture. So the soldiers, uh, any like any that. anyone that's not on a horse yeah. and not a dog. <laughs> so my thought is, I'll have him capture from the top square and then move my knight to this square. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then you... There you go. Capture, yeah. There you go. So again, if you if you were to hold down B, if you're like, okay, I want a faster version of this game, yeah. um, you can you can go to the settings and up the animation speeds, or like we just did, I I have it when I play on my own that only the only the commanders moves are going to be animated. Everyone else is just going to just kind of happen. Yeah. Um, which helps make the game a little more sped up. Um, after you've played it enough, you're like, okay, I'm, I want it to be kind of a little more sped up. Sure. So there'll be a point where if you're playing this more, you and I will have much faster moves. You know, um, kind of like a board game, like, like learning a board game for the first time. Sure. You know, when you're like an hour into it, and you're like, oh, but we've only set up the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you still Should have I him. use him to reinforce my dog. So what I would do is I would... I, he's at full health. I yeah. would have him attack my soldier and then have your dogs finish the job. So you're going to do 48% damage to me. So I'm already down to like six or five, seven. Since he's at full health, should I have my dogs attack first? Uh, so that way when he attacks... The it's... reason I would say have him attack... Well, that's true. If, if, if your dogs attack first, they would take more of the damage. They wouldn't kill me. However, your other unit would probably remain unscathed when attacking me because I would be so low. So if you want your other unit to be fresher at the end of this, yeah, I would say go in that order. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay. Sick em, boys. Yeah, they're bones. They're toys. All right, like a dog to oh. a bone. <laughs> so yeah, the other thing is in this game, the dogs don't die. They, they just run away. It's like the, Pokemon. In, in the beta testing of the game, well, there was no beta testing. But like when they would do uh, like Twitch streams, like go live um, and do like an AMA on Reddit, um, they were when they were developing the game, the dogs would actually turn into little ghosts like everyone else. And based on user feedback or, or like viewer feedback and stuff, they were you know. And I think like a lot of the Chucklefish people have pets that are in the like in the studio a lot, and um, so they decided, okay, we're gonna make the dogs run away, run away, which is kind of a cool. So okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna build now? Um, let's see. I'm gonna get him forward soon. I already got a good little standing here, I think. Um, thinking uh, Belista. Oh. Okay, so Trebuchet is good against ground units. Yes. Uh, a Ballista or Ballista? I don't know how to pronounce it, but that. That is basically, uh, think of Game of Thrones again, um, when Daenerys first shows up and attacks the Lannister Unless convoy. Gross. Yeah, yeah, right? they're trying to shoot down. Right, but... that is, effect as you can see at the bottom, there's four, four things it's effective against. One is a harpy, the next one is a blimp, the one after that is like a witch, okay. and then the final thing is a dragon. Um, so it's basically all the air units. Right. It still will hit ground units, but it's not as powerful as a trebuchet, that which is basically a, an artillery unit in the game. Because this is my first time ever playing a game like this, would you go with the trebuchet or the... I would go with the trebuchet, because I don't have we don't have any air units. It's a good use of my money, yeah. giving you, me you 200 can, points left. <laughs> you can't play... Um, I can't... We can't uh, build any air units right now because there's no towers, sure. um, which are basically the air version of the like barracks. So, okay. Yeah, so go um, ahead and put them there. Is, is this one that moves forward or is it like So this is distance? one, this one, it's a unit that is very powerful, but it cannot attack and move in the same turn. You have okay. to strategically place it and then you'll see it has a huge range. Okay. So if I get close to it, which this is a good map for, for uh, Trebuchet, sure. then you could basically blow me up. So if my goal is to move towards the right, should right. I start with this place? Um, yeah, I would say, yeah, go there. Um, 
The other thing is you don't want to leave your trebuchet vulnerable. Sure. Uh, because you that one night you, Yeah, exactly. You kind of want to always have units around it to protect it from mayhem. Like me. <laughs> Weird. Well, we get, we'll get flagged Thank for that. Thank you, Allstate. <laughs> Looking forward to your paid sponsorship. That would, that would be something. All right, so you can see how this unit, even though, like, if you're... If, this unit was just one person closer, I could go here and attack, but I can't because you're out of range. All right, so you've made some good moves so far, and I'm intimidated by I've some really moves. known what I've been doing the whole time. I've been uh, lying to you guys. I've played this game my whole life, and I uh, just <laughs> wanted to fake it for the fans. Well then, I can't wait to, for you to show your moves in a second, because I'm coming for you, Danny. Whoa. So that would be oh, I can't. And I did. All right. All right. So, going after your soldier suit. So you're on the open road, the Whoa. king's road. So you're vulnerable. Whereas I'm coming from the field, so I have at least a little bit of protection. Holy smokes. Yeah. And again, I made the first move. So I made the first move. Okay. Oh, almost ended my turn there. That would be bad. Okay. I'm going to. Let's see. Uh, I don't have much, so I'm gonna go ahead and build. I really like these uh, units. Um, I, it's called a dreadbow for my kingdom, mm -hmm. but for your kingdom, it's a it's a ranger. It's same same thing. Um, and I like them because they can both uh, they can launch, you know, arrows, but they can also. Um, if they're attacked, they'll still attack back. Like even if you're right up against them, they'll like spin their bow and like hit you with a baton. All right, so press hold A over him. Okay, so anywhere in those squares, he can that unit can hit. So okay. yeah, if you put him right there. But do I want him to be that close? And vulnerable. Well, I, there's no way I'm, my units will probably get there, but that's a good thing to be thinking about. Is Um, maybe a little. It's up to you. I feel like I'm setting him up for. I would well, well, you could also bring him close and then move your other units to make sure that you're barricading the path to it. You know. Okay. Trusting him. Right. It's my first time playing. He's telling me what <laughs> I need to do. Um, so. That way. You could. Yeah, I would move it just straight to the the one below it. That way. There you go. Just, just all units all right. straight ahead. So we're basically at, uh, you know, it's kind of like no man's land right now, right in the middle. Like it's, we are both, we both have equal economies, except actually no, I because I haven't taken over. Oh man, I forgot about that village at the bottom there. Mwahaha. All right, so yeah, go ahead and start doing your thing. What do you want to do? I think you just gotta gotta go for it. Alright. Oh, okay, attacking with the soldiers. So I've got plus one defense. Uh, let's Okay, so oh, wow. you're at, yeah, you just barely have health on that. Okay, so I should be able to finish the job here. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. That Second unit boys. the unit's the only thing I have standing in between Oh. Interesting. Nothing of what I thought would happen this round. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, okay, so yeah, because you can't get around those other units right now. So you're you could attack my knight, but that would be a really stupid uh, move because you don't. Obviously, the knights are very effective against ground units. So his. He needs to be protected, ultimately. He does, but he's also very powerful, so don't be afraid to use him. It, this is where the game gets really interesting, because the more you use him, the more you charge up your groove, 
okay. then you can use your groove. Um, I think his groove is like he howls and then inspires everyone around him to like take a do second. Better. No, do better, but take a second turn after they've been oh. used in the that. So actually, maybe I do want him to be like here. Yeah, I would say get him. Or like here. Yeah, maybe like right there. Yeah. All right, now you got to figure out what you're gonna do with that soldier and knight, and then he, he's he's grooving. We're grooving right now, man. Um, yeah, you can move them anywhere, wherever you feel like might be strategic. Um, I know you gotta. That's the thing is you always gotta anticipate. Backstabbing mats. All right. Um, Everything's a learning lesson. I would put him in your forest so that he has some protection. Like, now yeah, he's... Hide him on the trees. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you can still build. Thousand. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Rain, rangers are good. It gives you some a little bit more mobile um, artillery. All right. And then you also have that barracks up there. You can build multiple units now per turn, but know that you're spending more gold then. Yeah. So it's. I feel like. I'll just do this one. There you go. It's great. It's a great idea. Um, if I ultimately want to get. Yeah, let's do that. All right, that was smart. Okay. All right. So what am I gonna do here? Okay, I'm gonna go up under the bridge, and I'm gonna try to clear the path here. So now your soldier's out of the way. I'm gonna, oh, dare you! Oh, I can't reach him. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Okay, so see, you basically have you have a nice range right now. I can't even get to your guy on the bridge though. That's annoying. No, you can. What? He's not highlighted. Uh, oh yeah, the shaded area. Yes, yeah, the shaded area is where you can physically move. Yes, but you can definitely take anything. You can attack anything within that range. So uh, okay, I might see. See, because you put the him right here in front of your knight, I can't get into the forest and use it as protection to attack your knight. However, you wouldn't. I'm gonna take out those puppies. You monster. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. What are those riders Dire look like? Dire wolves are done. Uh, like the um, the green goblin version of uh, <laughs> the uh, the things that came for the hobbits. What are they called? Uh, the like the dead kings of yeah. old or whatever. I don't know what they're called. The Nazgul. Well, not quite the Nazgul, but um, though the dragon in from this particular nation that I'm like the the Valheim or Falheim sure is like an undead looking dragon oh Viserion oh my god <laughs> gotta watch out for him <laughs> take down your walls he will take down the wall oh man all right let's see thank you HBO and Game of Thrones for also sponsoring along with Allstate uh in this video <laughs> appreciate it Great crossover, crossover uh, marketing we did, similar to what we did with Bud Light. Alright. Here you go. Alright. Sorry, are you getting the hang of the game? Oh, me, me think. Wait, no, wait, wait. Oh, don't. So if you move him, you can't attack. Right? So. It's going to be just attack. So press B first. And go over him. Go Or hover over your unit and then press attack. Press A again. And then attack. And then it'll highlight in red the units that it can reach, and then you want to go over to that unit, highlight it, and press attack that unit. There you go. So kill them. Oh, they're already dead. Yeah. I guess you're just them. <laughs> For good though. Go right. Um, All right. So you took that unit out. That was a good move. And but now, see, your I, I, my knight can reach your trebuchet. And the trebuchets are very vulnerable to certain units if they're just out in the open. So you sure. want to make sure you put enough things in front of it or block my path as much as you can. I could kill you on that. Uh, yeah. you, 
you can do 42% damage to it, but I'm at 100% right now. Um, I, you can certainly do some damage though, like if I were you, I would try to block, put, put a unit between the house or the village and the bridge. Yeah, if you put them there, it'll it'll effectively block me from getting around it, right? So watch, go highlight over my uh, knight now. See now, like I couldn't, I can't keep going forward because for now, for now, right? I thought he's, what, he's an archer. Why doesn't he have like a distance shot? He does, but he's way too far. <laughs> he would be effectively launching his arrows further than the trebuchet can. <laughs> So, you need to get him closer right, well, to, the, to the battle. Really we're not uh, hiring Legolas here. <laughs> just... Oh, the references. Okay. Hold on, let's, before, we're, before we just purchase out the wazoo. Um, 1,200. Do I want to try and take him out? And I leave. He would essentially probably not survive that encounter. Uh, uh, let's see. Mm. You just gotta, you gotta make a move. If I were you, I would move, I would move my knight and attack directly. Yeah, I would attack my archer because they're very vulnerable to sure. open attacks like that. And it's your knight, so you could effectively do a lot of damage and walk away with barely. Anything. Yeah, and walk away and still have a pretty strong. And plus, you're also in the forest still, so you have that plus three advantage. Right. What? Well, how dare you? <laughs> see, I tried. You take it back. So I, I don't even think I did. I can it, finish you. You can finish me, but um, it's up to you. It's up to you, like where you want to put that unit. It might be worth it to go right, go right up along the side and finish. Yeah, but then you just come down. Right. I mean, it's it's all a game of chess. So, and at least uh, in, in well, this game of chess, you can produce more pawns. I'm also an average chess player, so look out for <laughs> our new podcast, ACP. <laughs> And um, he plays chess. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, guys? Just, just chip away at the mountain. Okay, well, they are certainly going to die. Um, and not do anything. Oh, yeah. The, you I took the, the smallest it. unit, and it was very... Uh, it was very weak already, and you went up against the thing that's very effective. Hey, we just showed that Thanos can bleed, and then uh, we're hoping Captain Marvel will save the day. So uh, there, oh. there may be a Captain Marvel s character in this game. <laughs> Are there pagers? In well, the game? there is one of the uh, one of the commanders from from Florin. Her uh, she she has like a backstory where it's like she came down from. She doesn't remember her past. Okay, but she thinks she came from the stars. Uh, which is a nod to Starbound, but at the same time, you can make the the Captain Marvel reference there too. Falling from the sky, memories are kind of in a blur, but fights for the people of this world now. <laughs> uh, All right. Up here. Um, I... So that's a right. So that's a second front, right? There's yeah. a there's the north of the river front. Right now, I've got more units than you. I could probably easily overcome you there, but you might want to start building more units up there. So I'm thinking. Yeah, sort of not. Maybe a battle pup. Maybe a battle pup. Battle pup away! Get that pup. Good boy! Okay. And you. I kind of want to keep you safe. So yeah, you. Move back here. Um. I wouldn't move him. Yeah, that's probably a good spot. Well, then I'm gonna go block the ranger. No, no, the ranger will be able to move right through it. Okay. Right over the dog. He's only your captain, but that's fine. All right. Um, and you? Can I just wait? Here? You can wait. Yeah. You don't even have to tell him to wait. You could also just end your turn. Um, no, I like telling him what to do. <laughs> your I new command you. Keep doing exactly what you've been doing. All right. Let me see. So still, I haven't. I need to get through the forest. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna straight up bring my commander into the battle here. Um, she's very much like Captain America because she throws her shield. Killed one of my knights. I did. I did take out one of your knights, um, but I didn't do as much damage as I thought. I want to avoid this thing, so you're effective. It's it's. <laughs> 
a trip of shoe. I was playing with Tim earlier and teaching him the game, and he was like, what is a trebuch? What is that? <laughs> I'm like, what? Aren't you a physics teacher? You know what that is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You knew what a trebuch was, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you build one in physics class? We had to build one. Fun fact, I didn't have to take physics. Look at you. Yeah. How do you even like stand I and know. get along in, the, in this? I fly. Physical world of ours. Because I never learned the rules of gravity. That's pretty um, cool. I um, beyond them. Would you say you and I could defy gravity together? Uh, well, you took physics, so only I could defy gravity. So. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. I'm going. To... Thank you, Neil deGrasse Tyson, for also sponsoring this video. <laughs> and uh, Wicked. Bill Mazanka and Wicked, yes. <laughs> Okay, um, alright, so, see your, your town there? You're a monster. I'm gonna attack, break down the doors! But, oh! So wow. I, I couldn't take it out, so... I am barely it's, alive. It's defending itself, but I'm certainly going to attempt to take it. Now, however, I'm in range of your trebuchet, and a lot of other things. Let's see, can you... Hit far enough. Can I restore the health of any of my units at any point? Yes, by going up to the building and pressing reinforce, it costs some of your money to yeah. do it, and it'll take some health from your building, but it's sometimes it's worth what it. What about a building? Can I restore the health of a building? You know, with a building, yeah, that's what you would. You can't do it with another unit, but you can only do it with buildings. Okay. It's like going into town and resupplying, but it costs you money to do that. Oh, that's your unit. Um, okay. Chillin'. All right, Danny. Your turn. All right, so first and foremost, you should um, here. Here. Yeah, first. What are you gonna do? Wait. There you go. I would put him right behind the house there and then attack from afar. But it would be on my next turn, I'd attack him. No, 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 you're, so the only, he can attack, move and attack on the same turn as a ranger. Oh, guy. yeah. okay, so move him here, then attack whoever. Yeah. So press A there, and then attack, and you can attack either my knight or the uh, soldier. Chipping away there. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, because they're, they're strong units, and I can't do any damage to you, because... Because I'm from afar. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So they're, that's why I like Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Harden feels like. Who do I kill? I mean, I have my Ranger um, that you can destroy now because they're at like no, next to nothing. And you're considering you that knight basically has nothing. It probably won't do much good against your knight. Against anything of my uh, any of my other units, but at least it could take one more unit out. Before. What's stronger? So this would be a clean wipe. That'd be a clean wipe, yeah. Because, but what is stronger attacking me? If I killed this, would this kill me on its next? Oh turn? yeah, You're, that character is probably gonna like you. At some point, you have to realize, okay, unless yeah, I, no, I'm just trying to see. I'm just well, to actually, stretch out his actually, life as long as you I have can. 1,200 gold, right? Yeah. So instead of attacking, go all the way up to that city with your unit. Highlight, highlight the same unit, and go, uh, go all the way back. Straight, straight, straight to the east. No, but right up, to, right up to the, the city, right there. This one. Yeah, okay. go up next to it. Press A, and then it says reinforce because you're next to the city. So for 498, it's always going to default to. Yeah. What would it? How much money would it take to get you back to full health? However, know that it's also going to deplete the health of that village. Though the village will replenish itself every turn. Okay. But at least you then have a full health knight at your disposal again. So, You're not gonna get and, my it, time. and it only costs you 400, whereas a knight would cost you 600 gold to do that. And you're not going to get to that village on your turn. Yeah, so uh, you can effectively defend the village. Uh, you could attack it if you got that. Well, turn. you still have your trebuchet there, so you can use your trebuchet oh, yes, to take oh, something out real quick. Look. Are you in range? Yeah, yeah, it would destroy my knights for sure. End him. <laughs> End 
him. <laughs> you may fire when ready. Oh, I got it. Okay, so. Okay. All right, good. I feel a little bit better there. You. You. You are not close enough by one spot. Oh my. Okay. And you are not going to be able to. Can I replenish his health and attack in the same turn? Uh, no. You can only do one or the other. Bummer. Also, you wouldn't want to go to that building because it would just kill it. it. Well, it wouldn't kill it, but it wouldn't replenish you at all. Okay. Like, um, so it sometimes it's effective just to keep your unit there, just so it's a, a hindrance to me when I'm trying to get through my what next unit, turn. Is this, is That's my commander. So you could attack my commander. My commander is probably going to take you out. Would it make much damage to you? It might. Well, you can. You can. So you would do just like yeah. Of 100%. I'd rather is it kill worth it him to, right. and leave you... Wait, wait, are you, are you sure? Because that was the unit you were talking about replenishing its health back at the... Yeah. And remember, that's yeah. cheaper to do that than it is to build another unit. However... Oh, the one right before. There we go. It, yeah. it, de it depletes your income every... Alright, see? So, it's... Now he's all the way back here. Now he's back here. Oh, uh, I thought it would just be like... Okay. Well, you still have, you got your commander, and you've got my commander. You also have another knight. I can't do anything with this commander. I, if I were you, I would move, keep your commander away from stronger units. Like, my commander and your commander, you probably don't want them to interact because sure, sure. they're both very powerful. Um, you could move that knight up and onto the bridge, or the, not the knight, um, uh, the Swordsman. soldier. Yeah and just have him wait there. So he's effectively blocking my other units from getting down. Okay. And have him wait there. And then have you not still in the old I, I would have him attack that knight. He can't, he's not close enough. No, but he can once you move your soldier. Are you sure? Yeah. There's no square highlighting. No, he can. It just, it's not showing you because you, the soldier, the unit's right there. So I would, no, don't attack, just wait. Just so he's a barrier. So basically, ah, there he's it is. spotter. You're Correct, you did not lead me astray. I did not, and now your battle pup will call in his faithful, uh, what would you call them? Uh, squires? Oh, <laughs> right. Shot. Yeah, he's pretty cool. powerful. Um, I want to move you up. Yeah. I just don't know where. Probably right behind your other. As far as far as close to me as you can, so that you have. Probably there. Yeah. Wait. Do I need to build this up? If I were coming with another knight right. and uh, whatever this is, but you might want to. If I were you, I would. You can't build yet because you need to move some of the units, and I would take your soldier and attack my from the forest. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage that way. Again, strategic because you have more defense than I do. You're also attack. You're not sitting around waiting to be attacked. You're like taking the fight to me. Sure. And now you can bring in your battle pups and have them finish me off. Which... Uh, I don't know if it will. No, it won't. But it's close. Oh, Bye. you jerk. You piece of pika. Alright, All right, and then, you know... You could... I would build a pike men because I have a knight. So no, you still have, you remember, you can press R to highlight anything that's unused. Still press R again. There you go. That one's, you've already used it. Ah. Once. Yeah. But could I move him? He would just be held again. Yeah, you, it would be a slow move to the front, but... Thinking... Okay. Yeah, for it. All right. Do it to it, Lars. How are we looking on time? Uh, probably got about five or so minutes. Okay, let's see what we can or can't do in that amount of time. All right, let's see. Time flies when you when you're when, when you're learning to groove. Uh, all right, let's see. I'll try to take out these guys, though. I don't think I'll have an easy time. Cool, cool. That's good. 
So I can also I can attack your town. And take that now. So it doesn't take it. It makes it un um, untaken. It's back to being grayed out. But I can. Now you're gonna take it. I can, but if I do, I would be putting my I would be putting my commander in range of him, in range of him, in range of him, in range of your commander, and in range of the trebuchet. Actually, no, one of the in range of the trebuchet. That, how is that possible? Why isn't it showing me the rain? That's, oh, because it's raining. Oh. It limits the range. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, my okay, God. but still, one, two, three, four, one of your units being very powerful, it most likely would kill Ragna, and that would effectively end the game. So I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to retreat. Uh, I'm gonna reinforce this guy, so you can't attack my trebuchet right away. I'm gonna reinforce her. Um, I'm going to capture this one finally. Let's, go, let's get that. Um, and then, yeah, I've effectively exhausted all of my coins. It's not looking good for me right now, but it's okay. This was a tutorial. All right, Danny. Oh let's see. Boy, do I want to take this back? This, for sure. First things first. I would see, yeah, move, start moving people up. See what your trebuchet can hit right now. Press it again. Oh, they can't hit anything. So wait. So you might want to move it in range of some stuff. However, you don't want to move it in the range of my trebuchet because I could attack it. So, so right up in front of your dog is gonna be enough. In front of the dog or behind the dog? Like I can move it up one spot. Actually, maybe one spot because it's gonna be sunny next turn. So, and my range will come back. So maybe just there, yeah. Will I be in range by that point? I don't think so. Trust, <laughs> I'm trusting you. All right. Otherwise, I'm gonna let you make your own decisions from here. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna recapture. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, mates. Yeah, have Close some have door. some mead. Enjoy your. Yeah, yes. Enjoy your new home. Um, this is a knight, correct? That, uh, you're in a knight and you're about to attack. Uh, Through the forest, so I have yeah. advantage. Yeah. You're also I mean, in the forest. You're gonna do 110%, you're gonna wipe me out. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Kill him. <laughs> oh, oh my god. To death. To gore of this game. I do not have, I'm not feeling a very good army at the moment. Hey, hey! Two swordsmen against one guy close one. range with an arrow. Yep. Yep, you guys do great. Um, I would move him out of the way and let your pike. Ah. I mean, that guy is so depleted, I would just move him out of the way. I would get him back. I can attack. Or you can attack and just be like, hey, I'm gonna go for it anyways. You know what? Just chip away. Your sacrifice, they will sing songs of you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that poor lad. Alright, well this that won't completely do it. Yeah, but it's still very effective, so it's it's not so powerful they're gonna take out a knights in one go. But if you had them just doing that. if you had two uh, pikemen next to each other, they would increase each other's power. Okay. Bye doggo. I would move your pikeman up and then build a pikeman, move him and attack. But it's up to you. All right, so you get the defense of the forest, but your eye also have the same defense. But still, you just okay. That was okay. Right. Okay. So. Um. Pikeman. Yep. There you go. I will move him to the forest. Cool. Cool beans. There. Boy. I would move, yeah, I would maybe move your commander up. The out bridge? of Yeah, like even as far up as like where my, because I don't have any units up there that are really going to do a lot of damage to him. Right. Okay. Go for it. 
Um, and then you can you can still build. You have 600 coins there. What are you gonna do? I want to build more. How do I skip? Like if I just press uh, highlight anything that has no unit on it, like the grass there. Press A and turn. All right. I may have to do my final turn. <laughs> Alright, so I can only attack this knight here, but it's clean weather! Wow. Wow. Holy smoke. Yeah, they are, it's a very powerful unit. Okay, how am I going to do this? Um, I'm truthfully not going to be able to do much. Let's see, I can move from here though. Let's do it. Get out of my way! <laughs> wow, she got one. Goodbye. Wow. All right. So the yeah, they're your commander. So they're they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty so powerful. Is killing commander like a golden snitch, like it ends the game. It ends the game immediately. Yeah. So that's why they're difficult. That's why it, it, each player is very different in how they deploy their commander. Are they gonna sure. use use them a lot in the field? All right. So I'm gonna bring my troops in because I want to protect your access to getting to my trebuchet, but at the same time, I can kill that unit. But the only thing that stands between you and my trebuchet is this unit, which I think you can take it out just with one go. So, anyway, so I'll do that, I'll do that. Um, for the sake of it being the last turn, I will and build... you have a knight up in the woods too. I do have a knight. I think I'll do it. But now you'll have. Alright. Um, and we're back. There you go. Alright. Last turn, Danny. What are you gonna do? Can he end it? I think you might be able to. Oh, you can't get Ragna. You, you, that that is your leader, right? You're moving the unit right now, though. You have, oh. to, you have to press A twice. Attack. Yeah, I'm out of range. Is that your leader? Yeah, that's my leader, but I'm out of range for... Press highlight... Oh! Oh, oh no! I thought I was out of range! Oh, boy. Wow, that All still right. didn't... So if you it. take the dog... Take your doggo commander now. And actually, before you do, take your archer right back there. Yeah. Move them... No, move them up next to your knight. Because you have another archer. And Okay, press A. And then attack Ragna. Okay. It's not gonna do much, but it's chipping away. Right, you want one block. Okay, All right. Like one and like now go take your other archer, move him right up to your city, and attack Ragna again. So chipping away. Oh my gosh. All right. So could it be enough? Now, uh, knight. Use your knight. See if they can just do a little bit more. It's only six percent, but enough to get me down to two, I think. And now you have. Oh no! It may not be enough. You have well, you have a full health commander, which is really powerful. So I think, yep, you're about to end the game here. There it is, right on time, like I planned it. <laughs> wow, what a good dog! I grooved the war. You grooved. You did it. I grooved the war. And that is how you play wow. war groove. So, uh, looks like we took. Uh, oh, we both actually killed and destroyed seven units. Wow. How many turns was that? This was, I didn't uh, actually see. Hit A to hit OK? I think press A. I think it gives you... Yeah, so that was that. Wow. That was Wargroove. So what did you think? That was something. Definitely, I don't know if it's a game I'd play by myself, but that's like a good, like, we're just hanging out. Let's play Wargroove. I think yeah. that you would... I think the story mode is really compelling. Um, in that, like... It creates these different scenarios and a lot. There's a lot more strategy. The units move faster, yeah. and it teaches you. Um, but super fun. I've been playing it a lot. I'm like about halfway through the game. I've played a couple of online matches, which have been real fun. But I really want a good. I want a friend to get it, and so we can just go at it in, in the game as much as possible. So think about it. All right. Well. It's, it's the number one game right now on the eShop and it's for a reason this genre is very popular and it's a very good game and I think it just got its update. Uh, there's a couple of things that 
are being introduced, which are exciting in terms of quality of life things to make the game much more easier, more legible. Um, so yeah. So, Including the new story mode, The Groove for Seven Kingdoms. Oh my god. So this has been Wargroove. Uh, I've, been Matt, I've been Matt Schultz. I still am Matt Schultz. <laughs> this is Danny Tortelli. His first time playing anything like this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed and we'll be back in the next AMP Plays. Until then, stay groovy.